The new season is upon us, and in amongst all the stars of last season are a whole bunch of new faces, some of who you might just know. But who are they? Well, I've decided to take a road trip and find out who the newbies are for myself. First stop, Cheltenham. Champion trainer and former Latvian national team manager Gary Johnson steered the Robins to an impressive 22 games unbeaten streak last season. He'll be hoping that his goal-scoring thoroughbred Danny Wright will continue his good form into League Two, proving Cheltenham really are stayers. One club down, four to go. Next up, it's off to Birmingham to the mighty villains. Aston Villa, Aston Villa FC, they're by far the greatest team the world has ever seen. Uh, no singing, please. Sorry. Championship newcomers Aston Villa will also have plenty to sing about, with a glittering history boasting 21 major honours. Seven times they've been crowned champions of England, and seven times they've lifted the FA Cup. But perhaps their biggest achievement of all was in 1982 when they won the European Cup. The Villains never spent a season outside of the Premier League and we were looking towards their Champions League winning manager Roberto Di Matteo to take them straight back up this season. I have a giant scarf! Welcome to... Newcastle! The birthplace of trains, stotties, Anton Deck, half of Little Mix, Sir Bobby Robson, Peter Beardsley, Alan Shearer, Gather, and the Windscreen Wiper. Oh, and they have a pretty good football team too. St James's Park, filled with a tsunami, this place is a coliseum of noise and now the biggest stadium in the English Football League. But back in the day, there was an 18-foot gap between the pitch and the stands, so that farmers could feed their cows on the hallowed turf. <coughs> Newcastle have been here before, storming the championship to win the title back in 2010. The Toon Army will be hoping their legendary gaffer, Rafa Benitez, can take them back to the big time once more. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So from one team who play in black and white, to another, it's off to Grimsby Town. Grimsby Town secure promotion with a 3-1 win over Forest Green at Wembley after displaying some great form on the road. Which is useful as the Mariners technically never play at home because Blundell Park is actually in neighbouring Cleethorpes, which means that the club is always away from home. Without last season's top scorer Padraig Amund, it will be the responsibility of young striker Omar Bogel to get the goals this year. The 23-year-old bagged the 90-second brace in the playoff final, and it's fair to say the Mariners have very high hopes for him this season. I'll do my best, boss. Let's hope they swim and don't sink this season. Ah, Carrow Road. So many memories for me from games here at my hometown club. Back in the Championship again this season, a league we are no strangers to, having topped the table here an incredible three times. Canaries fans will be hoping for passion from their team this season. And a perfectly relayed pitch could well help turn Carra Road into a very difficult place to come for the rest of the teams in the league. So there we have it, over 750 miles covered and five brand new teams to cheer on each week. I, for one, am very excited to see how they all get on this season. <laughs>